nke nhọ na anya ala ezioko nke nọ na nte wa ase was our family and friends welcome to the woke nation our nation of fact or truth where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of fact or truth without fear without favor and without faith where we encourage us to live our lives and live it well through the knowledge of fact or truth because it's our lives and personally i'm encouraging you to enjoy your life let no one rob you the joy of living remember the joy of living is your strength not the joy of the lord the slave owner it is the joy of living the knowledge of living that is your strength when you have that knowledge you have that power and no one can enslave you once you have that knowledge that's why they don't want you to know they want you to believe for them to control you everything about spirituality and religion is control they control you they control your mind and that's why from childhood they begin to indoctrinate and brainwash you which is why i titled this conspiracy theories i want you to know that as somebody raised in a christian or in, in a religious or spiritual family you were raised you were trained you were indoctrinated you are brainwashed to ignore fast for faith ignore what you can see for what you cannot see in reality to ignore humans for god and the heaven that are not real you were raised to ignore science for holy book you were raised to believe and spread conspiracy theories they groom you especially those of you that went to theological school to bible school or to religious school or whatever where they teach you that they groom you to believe and spread conspiracy theories i want you to know that holy book is conspiracy theories book that's why they tell them in it they say like joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said that this book of the law shall not depart from your from your mouth or your eyes you see it's a book of the law law made up by people there is no law in nature there is no law in the universe it is people who made up those laws principles commandments it has nothing to do with any god anywhere but people especially calm men naturally people don't make laws you know to live they what people are supposed to do is to till the land you know produce what they used to live then if anything is bothering the, their community together all of them will plan how to deal with it not one person dictating for others as you have it in the system they force on us today also there's a place so welcome to bible to start um study. there's a place i want to show you in the bible why you see people that are spiritual and religious why they don't value this world they tell you on, on horrible things about this world they tell you great things or wonderful things about the world they don't know where it is they have not been to but they believe it is this i like the way pericoma say it in one of his songs he said he said the place the the land of the spirit is not far but if you ask me to go, I will not go. Meaning that, yeah, you say believe, but you don't know where it is. All you're talking is you believe. So you're talking without knowledge. When you're talking about spiritual world, spiritual power, spiritual anything, you are talking without knowledge. Let me show you something in Isaiah to show you that the holy book is book full of conspiracy theories they taught you to believe and pray without questioning because if you question it you must be silenced or persecuted that's what they do 
best because their God cannot do you anything. Anyone that is talking about, about spring bean don't know what they are talking about. Verse 20 of Isaiah chapter 8, hear what it says. Open because that's like this place, especially Bishop Oedebo. He said to the law and to the testimony. Remember the law in the New Testament, they tell you that Christ has fulfilled the law. So anyone that is obeying the law has fallen out of grace, right? But Pentecost has used this place, you know, to make people to believe what the Bible, that the Bible is the word of God. He said to the law and to the testimony, not to the fact and to truth. He said to the law, law is what is forced on you. And to the testimony, people made up hearsay. Oh, we know how they give all this testimony or just get on which are all lies. He said, if they do not speak according to this word, not if they don't speak according to the factual truth, but according to this word which is written, he said, it is because there is no light in them. There is no light in me. I produce light. <laughs> I am darkness. I produce light. Light cannot be in darkness because darkness is over all. In darkness, you cannot see nothing, but that, 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 that darkness gives you light. That's where light comes from. He said that because there's no light in them bullshit. Then hear what he said. He said, they will pass through it hard pressed and hungry. Who are the ones doing that today? The monks, the priests, the pastors, you know, put those fasting and praying and all that. And it shall happen when they are hungry that they will be enraged and cause their king and their God. Will reality bite them? Yes, they'll be enraged. What do they do? They cause their God and their king and look upward. <laughs> Let me uh, tell you, that time you are crying in prayer, you are cursing your God. When you are complaining about anything happening around you, you are cursing your God. Because you are showing, yeah, that's why I tell you, your action shows there is no God. Although your mouth is saying there is God. But your action, when you go to work, when you go to people to help you in times of need, is showing that you are cursing your God. There is no God. And he said, then they will look to the earth. I told you to show you why spiritual people or religious people, when they look at the what is uh, at the earth, they tell you horrible things about it. They're talking wonderful things about spiritual things. But they, they demand you bring some sacrifice or some offering or some tithe. Yes, they believe there's a spiritual power or spiritual world. He said, then they will look to the earth and see trouble and darkness. What do they see when they look at the earth? This world is not my home. I'm just am passing through. Oh, this wicked world, this evil world. No, they are the ones that are wicked. They are the ones that are evil. Who are the ones who are doing all the horrible things, terrible things, abominable things in the world today? Are they not people that believe in God? Are they not people that say they are spiritual religious? They are. So they will see trouble and darkness, gloom of anguish, and they will be driven into darkness. They don't know what they are talking about. They are driven into darkness because in darkness, you cannot see although treasures and riches are in it. But you need to understand that you are the darkness they are talking about. And if you engage your brain, you begin to give light. Also, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, 23, he said, If any does not believe or does not confess Jesus, he's like, say, let him be a cause. Also, in Galatians chapter, chapter 1, verse 8, he said, Even if we or any other preach the gospel other than this, he said, let him be a cause. I'll just show you that the holy book is conspiracy theories book. Whether you call it Quran, Torah, or Bible, they are the same full of lies that you must trash. Spiritual people, religious people are confused people. They are people of faith. They can't live by faith. You cannot see anyone who is truly living by faith that is telling you the truth. They are all hypocrites because they will try to ignore fast and claiming it is their faith. Like when they walk, they say it is God that did it. When they succeeded in anything, they said they give thanks to God, they give glory to God. So they are lying to themselves. 
and ascribing their greatness or their glory or their thanks or their, their pride to imaginary beings. So when you don't know yourself, when, when you are living in the fear as they want you to, to live, you begin to believe their conspiracy theories and even spreading it, as many of you are still doing today. Before you share anything, verify it, think, use your, that is sound, uh, uh, sound well to you or to your feelings or to your emotions doesn't mean it's true. That your ancestors invented it doesn't mean it's true. That somebody you so much uh, respected, like your parents or some elders, said it doesn't mean it's true. You have to use your own brain. If they can speak it, you can also speak better one yourself. So stop being among the people living by faith and beliefs. Live by facts. Every truth that is not based on facts must be trashed. No truth is permanent unless it is based on facts. So I want to show you, you know, some of the conspiracy theories that they make people believe and they call them the word of God or spiritual things. They make people believe. Number one, of course, you know, number one must be God there. So number one, the, the number one conspiracy theory is God created the heaven and the earth, and God controls the affairs of men. It's a lie. Everything about Genesis is a lie. You don't even know that Genesis was the last five books of Moses. There were Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy before Moses, uh, before Genesis. Because they started with Exodus, and they'd be like, okay, you say you came from, to Egypt and you come out from Egypt, Okay, you didn't exit before. Did you just fall from the sky? That's how Moses Memonadin wrote the, the 51. He is the one that wrote the five book of Moses, not the Moses in the Bible. But he uses his name. You know, when you are writing fiction, you can use any name, you can use any place. And some people, when they read it, they think it's true when it is not. So the second uh, conspiracy theory is, a book is the word of God you must obey or perish. If you don't believe the content of the book, you will not succeed, you will not prosper. Oh, you will die before your time. So you see people living, believing in a book. Like somebody made, um, oh no, I made a post about, the post I made about uh, Jesus bullshit and all that. You know, where the guy, the guy said, uh, you know, like repent or perish, I said, that's bullshit, trust Jesus. And somebody be like, oh, they are, read the account of Josephus, you know, about Jesus. <laughs> account of Josephus is not account of Christ himself. Jesus did not have any account. Jesus did not write anything anywhere. Okay. So uh, I, I said, even those that wrote the four gospel with Peter and the Paul, those mentioned in the Bible, they never existed. They never see any Jesus. It's a story. And we had about 15 messiahs before Jesus. Jesus is the 16th one. He never existed. The first time Jesus existed was as a slave boat. They used to convert Africans and enslave them in foreign world. The same thing they are still doing today, based on what is written in those books, they are still taking Africans from their truth and enslaving them mentally. But they believe it. The book say, okay, some of them say they don't believe in the Bible anymore. Then some of them believe in what somebody else said about Jesus, about God. <laughs> if God or Jesus is, is they're supposed to be speaking for themselves. So why are you coming in boss or so my post and asking me, what do you mean you go God? What do you mean there's no God? What do you mean? How, how, how do you come into existence? Who created you? I never told you that I'm a creature. I didn't tell you I have a creator. If I tell you I have a creator, I will show you that creator. I don't have one. My father is not my creator. My mother is not my creator. No God is my creator. I am not a creature. I'm a living being. My father and my mother were the containers that bore, born and bore me. They bore, that's they carried and bore me. And those of you that try to be like, oh, this one is spark of life, spirituality, no. Spam. It's spam. 
you started as a food. That's like a food. They ate you. A form spam. They ate you. A form the egg in the woman. They have cells. They born you. They did not create you. If your parents created you, they would have created you the way they want. And they, at least they will create you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you don't need to learn anything. But the funny thing is this. When you were born, you were born naturally. You're supposed to know your past, but you are taught away from it with what they call discipline or training or raising a child. That's why they raise you to believe all those conspiracy theories without seeing. The third one is love is the greatest. They lie to you. And this is one of the conspiracy theories that people are spreading today. They hold it so dearly. Even people that are saying they are woke, they still believe love, love, love. No, love is evil. Love is of God and God is evil. Anything of God is evil. God is a fairy. God is anti-nature. Your conscience is not God. There's nothing in you that is God. No matter how deep, deep you dig in you, all you will see is natural organs. There is no spiritual anything in you. It is what people are making up. They tell you love is the greatest wear. So just look at the book. They tell you about the love of God. God that drawn people. Where is the love? If you, if you think love is real. No, it is the same thing spiritual people do, using nature to, to justify their belief. And people telling you, oh, your action, that is love in action. No. Action, your action is not love. It's your action. It's when you care for somebody, it's a natural thing to do. It has nothing to do with love. But when you're talking about love, love have its law. And they tell you about unconditional love. Where yeah, it is. No, love comes with condition. If there, if there is unconditional love, all these people that say they believe in love, they'll be marrying whoever they love. No, they don't. They check. I like the way she look. I like the way he look. Okay, let me go. Let me. They, 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 they open their eyes. <laughs> they look before they leap. But when they switch to their religion or spirituality, they want you to close your eyes and jump. Don't look. Just jump. Believe. Believe what I'm saying. If you don't believe it, it's because you're, you're beside yourself. You don't know nothing. One would say, I'm talking like a kid. I say, kid number one, human being is not a kid. So if you, when you check dictionaries, when you use it on human being, you say it's informal thing. It's not like a noun. No, it's animals that have kids. We don't. We are, especially Africans. I remember that most of my messages are for us, Africans. I'm not talking about any other race, but we, the people, the re original people. So also, they, 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 they're supposed to, uh, you know, they're supposed to tell you the truth that you need knowledge. Knowledge is the greatest, but they tell you that love is the greatest. Love your enemies. You know, love those who persecute you. Care for them. If your enemy is hungry, give him food. So God will punish them, not you. <laughs> That's nonsense. You are the one that's supposed to punish your enemies. If your enemies are hungry, you have to use it to kill them. Let them die. Not, them, not you giving them food to survive so they will come and kill you. Unless you're ready to die. Okay, go ahead and do that. Okay. The fourth conspiracy is the world or time we end. And Jesus is coming soon. It's a lie. This world will never end. And the time is what men made up. In my own tribe, we have our own time and we have our own calendar, which is four market days that makes a week. And our moons are equal. I think all of them have 28, 28 days. That's balanced. That's natural. Not this Gregorian calendar they forced on us. There was Justinian calendar before this one. And this calendar we, we have is a Roman Catholic calendar, which they used to rule the world. But many of you don't know this or don't think. Why should the whole world have one calendar? Think about that. He says uh, this, uh, no. In Africa, every, nothing have one way of doing it in Africa. Because it's people, yeah? The one that works for you, you focus on it and make it work. Anyone that tell you this world is ending is, must be either a spiritual or religious person that's speaking out of fear and ignorance. They don't know what they're talking about. And time is man-made. You can make up those time. You can change any time. You know, before we think, oh, no, it's only in the daytime people work. Go to developed countries today, like in America. Some people do the three shifts. 
they don't they only sleep few hours between the they are working in the night they are working and some of you some of the things you call words of wisdom just relax and think you see it's foolish words those are those one you think is some wise elders or give it to you. no they were speaking out of maybe what they know during their time which is not based on fact so now you can at least now you can you can do your own research why not you do it and stop being stupid by faith they tell you jesus is coming very soon it is written in their book also it say he's coming quickly i think uh, revelation chapter 20 verse 20 uh, 22 verse 20 right he said i'm coming quickly he said come lord jesus and that's what all of them have been saying come lord jesus but it's not coming why because jesus never existed all the things they tell you about god jesus and this world they are all lies they are conspiracy theories don't live by them don't take them as facts that's what all these court leaders like um, donald trump mob star mob, mob, all these mob leaders that's what they use to get their 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 crowd following them conspiracy theories disinformation making up things telling you this person is coming to kill you that's why when our people cry that oh the, the gate or the west or they're coming to kill us so why are we not going to kill them why are we not oh they want to don't take the vaccine they want to kill you then where is your own vaccine if their own will kill you if you can take care of yourself you don't need anything from any other person the reason why you need something from others is because you are not taking care of yourself and you have been raised to live like that hmm. the world is not coming to the, to end it can even their book where you tell you the world is coming to end, yes, another place is tell you the, the, the end is not yet. If the world has when it will end, it's supposed to have when it began. So you and you have it's supposed to have the date. Tell me first when the world began. You don't know, and you don't know when it will end. Just the same thing about your birth and your death. You don't know the day you were born, and you don't know the day you will die. These two days, no one. No living being know it. And those of you that say you have spiritual ancestors somewhere or you have God somewhere, let them tell you they can never, they can, there's no date because it's a lie. It's a conspiracy theory. They made them up. And many of you are living in that make believe. The fifth one is uh, tolerate evil leaders. Like they tell you, or when you read their book, you see all the evil their God has done, but you tolerate that God. Okay, he knows better. He loves me. But those one he killed, he don't love them. No, they did something. But he created them, right? If he created them, he cannot fix them. A God that have to punish you for what you have done is not worthy to be your God. It's not worthy of your fear of faith. You need to trust that God. A God that cannot fix, you know how you're struggling to stop that habit, they tell you. It's now I find that those things that make me say I am born again now is all lies. Because I was smoking weed, because I was clubbing, because I was trying to have, you know, to enjoy life. That Those are the things my parents are supposed to provide for me. But because they could not, they say it's wrong. No, you don't need it. A child needs egg. They say, no, that child, I need it, that it must be a thief when he grow up. No, don't eat egg. It's when I came to America, I see children um, 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 uh, rejecting egg. No egg. No, no, they don't. But in Africa, you know how we, when we see egg, you know how we, sometimes we go looking for where to steal one to cook or to boil. Like my type data, I go to store to steal them. Things that if my parents were providing those things for me, without, but it's not I find that all those things that are, they tell us are sin, they are not. Is something they deprive from us. And naturally, you need those things. You want those things. It's a natural thing. When you see your fellow kids enjoying life, of course, you want to enjoy it. But your parents, some of you, it's not that your parents could not provide those things, but they were stingy to you. Yes, your parents were stingy. They, they will rather go to church and give that money instead of buying you egg to eat. Instead of the, some of you who attended school with a torn uniform, but your parents will go and wear church uniform, you know, clean one, they spend money, buy it, pay, but no, you know. It's now. 
You because I what you say I stole. Of course, it's stealing is not wrong. Why are we in the condition we are in today? Because people stole our things and we are suffering to today. And they gave you a book that tell you that shall not steal. Why not? And that's why I have problem with my people. These people you see, when they see criminal among them, they groom them and they use them to do foreign whatever, spy and all that. But when we see our own, even they steal egg, we burn them uh, uh, to death. And that's what they taught us that. Africans were not clean anybody. We don't have thieves among us before. Because in the community, every tree, every, everything belongs to all of us. And we are living as a family. How can you tell me you are hungry? There must be a wife to your uncle or your uncle, or there must be family member that have food for you to eat instead of you going to steal and end up being caught or, and killed. Wake up, Africans. Understand that you must trash, you must rise up and revolt against evil leaders. Resist, resist them. But they tell you, no, do not resist evil leaders. Resist the devil. Commit the leaders into the hand of God. Resist the devil is not real. The leaders are real. Look at how you are suffering in your country, in your land, and rise up. Revolt. Yes, it's normal. They call it rally, right? Rally. But that won't change it. You have to rise up and say enough is enough. They don't want you to have what they are having. So you have to rise up and demand for justice. So no forgiveness, but what? Justice. Do not, do, do not, do not uh, condone or tolerate evil leaders. Many of you are tolerating evil leaders today because of the nonsense they taught you. Do not resist an evil person. Leaders, those, those in authority are servants of God. God is the one that ordained them. God chose them. It's a lie. You have to rise up to resist them and stop resisting the devil that does not exist. Number six is there is a miracle in God's name or in Jesus' name. Mm -mm. I like the way Amadi says, a miracle and grace is part of the conspiracy theories. Of course, you're, you're right. So they tell you, there is miracles in Jesus' name. There is miracles in God's name. But they are bearing, many of them that believe by in, in the year 2000, 2023, they will not bury anyone in their family. They already started burying. But they still believe there is miracle in God. You know, okay, okay, God is now, okay, God will answer me one day. That one day is supposed to be today. And there's no one day in your days of the week. There's no one day in your calendar. If there is a day God will bless you or God will show you mercy and do anything for you, you're supposed to have the date. That's why when they prophesy to you or when they tell you, God said to me to tell you, so blah, blah, blah. Ask them to give you the date. They will run away. They will say you are an unbeliever, which is better. So there's no miracles in God's name. There's no miracles in Jesus' name. Look at the Pope, the vicar of Christ, the head of Christianity. He's still sick to today, using which a science and people has been helping him, not any God. The Eucharist or whatever they call it, Holy Communion or the whatever, the sacrament. Everything they claim to have power in God's name, in Jesus' name, is not helping the Pope. And Pope is dying, which is a natural thing for us to die. Okay, but there's no God doing any miracle in our life, in our family. Look at your family. You know how you struggle to grow up. Those of us that were born in Africa, born by poor parents. You know how we suffered. Yet you believe there is a miracle of God because your parents lied to you and you believe, yeah, okay, they have you, you will be, you will bring joy to them. It, it's a shame for you to say your child buy or uh, build a house for you. A parent that is celebrating, my child buy a car for me, my child build a house for me. A young parent and you are rejoicing. You are stupid. You are the one that's supposed to build a house for your child. You're supposed to be the one that buy a car for your child. But your child travel abroad, went and do certain things, do some people work, work very hard to make those money, to build your house or buy your car, and you are jumping. Because that's why you have the child, you know, to wipe your tears. But you didn't wipe his tears. Wake up, my people. There's no miracles in God's name. There's no miracle in Jesus' name. Also, they tell you there's another conspiracy theory that many of many of us believe and spread is holy land, holy people, holy place, holy things, choosing people, choosing things. 
when you check the definition of spiritual, I say being concerned with spirit, with a, you know, with a big concern with spiritual, religious things, spiritual things. You're not supposed to be concerned about that. Be concerned about your world you are living in. You were born to live and explore and enjoy this life. There's no such thing as choosing people. There's no such thing as holy people. There's no such thing as sacred land, sacred place. Even in our place, if they have a place they call uh, um, sacred land or evil forest, it's nonsense. It's people that made up those things. The land we're supposed to be finding out what is inside, we say it is evil forest. And that's why when these evil people came in, they begin to possess it. They find the resources in your land. They say they are buying it. I want to build a factory there. You think it's the factory they build there to employ your people? Because you don't know how to build a factory and employ yourself. Huh? No holy land. No choosing land. No. It's a shameful thing that even the places they call Holy Land today, the Mecca and the Israel, is African land where they came, kill all of us, rape our women, and possess it today. And they call it Middle East. And many of you are traveling, wasting your resources to go there as a Holy Land and they come back answering Allah Haji, come back answering a Holy One, Apostle, Man of God, idiots. Another conspiracy theory is there is heaven and hellfire after life. It's a lie. There's no heaven, there's no hell after life. Unless you were living there before you came here. <laughs> after life, you are going back where you came from, which is this earth. You are not living this earth for any heaven. You are not living this earth for any hell. Stop living and the spreading the conspiracy theories they taught you about heaven and hell. It doesn't exist. Oh, hell fire, heaven is your yeah, mindset. It's not. There's no God, there's no hell, there's no heaven. Period. Keep it like that. Make it simple. Stop com complicating issues and confusing yourself. Another conspiracy theory is spiritual controls the physical. Oh, no. Most of them in spiritual nonsense believe this thing so much. Can't you think about that? Why should spiritual that have power controlling you? Telling you what to do. If they have that power in spirituality or in spiritual world, let them do things themselves. For the fact they need you to do things for them, to speak for them, show you that you are the one more powerful than them. They cannot operate here without you. You can operate here without them. You see people talking about spiritual world, spiritual power, and when you want to open their eyes, they come against you. Same nonsense. What can you do with the spiritual power you have? Nothing. Who is ruling over you? They're still suppressing you. You and your children, you don't have future about them. But you oh, believe spiritual world, spiritual power. What can you do with your spiritual power as we speak? Can your spiritual power make me to shut up this moment? No, it cannot. But I can shut up that spiritual power. I can shut up that spiritual things you believe. If you can reason with me. The God you're talking about, or the spring being you're talking about, you are the one talking about it. That spring being cannot talk. Hmm? Like in Isaiah chapter 8, it's chapter 6, 8 to 9. Say, who will go for us? God. Who's supposed to be almighty? Who has all power? Looking for a human being to go for them. And you believe in them? That's why it is human being that preach them and it's human being that is protecting them. Hmm. Wake up. Another, another conspiracy theory is the poor or the slaves will inherit the earth and the rich will not enter the kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven. Say a lie. <laughs> There's no such thing as kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven anywhere. Kingdom is anti-nature. We don't need king and we don't, where you have kings, you have serfdoms. That's, you have slaves. King is a slave owner. Queen is a slave owner. And when you are bowing to them, when you're honoring them, you are cursing yourself. There's no such thing as the poor inheriting this earth. This earth belongs to us. We all must do everything to live here freely. We were born to live here freely. 
It's people making up all those laws, commandments, and uh, all those principles to cage people, to control people. We must free ourselves. The, uh, the next um, conspiracy theory is people view factual truth as uh, fake news or hate speech. And other things they use, the old people are now beginning to be against wokeness. Oh, against woke, 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 or they were, because they don't know. Woke is standing for justice. That's all woke is. And Asian people know that they have justice, equity, and uh, fairness. Not all this nonsense you have today. They view factual truth as threat, as hate speech, as fake news. Just for telling them they know, oh, you don't know what it is, fake news. No, it's not. Then lastly, that this world is not our home. That's another conspiracy theory many of you believe. This world is our home. It's our eternal home. And you were born to enjoy it. Let us wake up and stop believing and spreading conspiracy theories for any reason. They want you to be raised. Why you need to be live, live with in nature. They tell you in their book, train a child in the way he should go. When he grow up, grow up, it will not depart from it. But nature has disappointed them. I was trained in the way uh, my parents wanted me to go. But I grew up and I have departed from it. Another proof that the word of God or books, all of them are conspiracy theories. They hold no water in reality. Let us wake up and live humanly. Trash every every belief system, spirituality, religion, and all that, demand for fast and follow fast wherever they lead. God in it.